Oh, yes. He said, cast all your care over on him. I'll take that. I'm going to adorn my inward man with that. That's what God said. God said, by his stripes you're healed. Oh, I'll take that. Oh, yeah. I'm putting that on the inside of me. I'm adorning my inward man with that word. That's good. I, I'm, I'm going to wear that. Amen. Everywhere I go, I'll put that on. I've got it on, see. But see, people have got off on that. Well, you know, you see somebody with plaited hair. Oh, you're not supposed to do that. See, stop it. Stop it and get a hold of some light. Get a hold of the real word of God. People have made doctrines out of this thing. This crazy stuff. Crazy stuff. Because people, it's either they've not listened or they've not had anything to listen to. One or the other. Either the man of the pulpit is not preaching anything or they're not hearing anything. Now I also know that you can preach the truth and people won't hear that either. I know that too. Just because a man preaches a revelation don't mean you get a revelation. So you have to hear with this inward man that has ears to hear. You have to hear what God is saying. Now, if you choose not to, then that's your problem. You won't get what that man's got. It's just like this word. It's just like when Jesus was here and he was preaching to those Pharisees. and He went into the synagogue and he'd preach. Well, they wouldn't receive him. Was he preaching truth? You bet you. You bet you was. They wouldn't receive him. No. Did they get what he had? Uh Uh-uh. Done without. Amen. So you can be in a church house and hear a man of God preaching. That don't mean you're hearing what he's saying. No, no. You're going to have to hear what the Word of God is saying. And then if you will, then you can receive a revelation that a man has. Amen. So let's read it here now. We got off on something there a little bit. Who's adorning, let it not be, not be that outward adorning of plaiting of the hair and the wearing of gold and the putting on of apparel, but let it be the hidden man. Now, he said, here's what he said. Don't put all your attention on that, but put it on the inward man. Get him adorned, praise God. Get him adorned with the word of God. This is what's going to keep you, friend. This is what's going to put you over This is what's going to get you blessed and keep you blessed, knowing what God said. Amen. This is no religious act this morning. This is truth. Amen. This ain't churchy stuff. This is truth. Brother Hagin said one time, he's praying, uh, he'd prayed uh, for a lady there, and and, uh, he's, he's, well, we won't go into too much of that. But anyway, he, he laid hands on her, and she received the Holy Ghost, and she she was speaking in tongues and she's just praising God and had been speaking in tongues for several minutes. And some, some, he said the Spirit of God prompted him. And I know what that is. And if you don't know what that is, it's just inwardly you know something. You know something. And he looked over and he seen, a, he seen the guy walking up the aisle and he was going toward that sister. Well, he started making his way toward the sister. You know, I mean, the Lord shows you stuff. And uh, she had a wedding band on. And her sitting there, been filled with the Spirit, and he grabbed her by the hand about the time Brother Hagin got over there to her, and he said, take that wedding band off. Take that wedding band off, and God will fill you with the Holy Ghost. (sighs) Kind as I know how. That's ignorance gone to seed. That is the dumbest of dummies. How dumb can you be? But now, this is blindness caused by a lack of the Word of God. Blindness. I told you, I told you before, spiritual blindness is terrible. Terrible thing to be spiritually blind. And he he said, he took his hand and took it off of her and said, God filled her already, wedding band and all. <laughs> oh, well, how silly can you be? Now, when, when, you, when you are that way, 
you can't see. You're blind. You can't receive the truth. You, you, you just haven't received any truth from God's Word. Now, so you think, well, that's just, that don't even say, well, it's happened. And it happens all the time. There's people that could walk in a church house and, and is not dressed like they think they should or look like they shouldn't. They don't want them there. They don't fit. Well, that's ridiculous. That's the most ridiculous thing ever in this world. That's just ridiculous. Yeah, anybody ought to dress all right, but wait a minute, give them a chance. Right? Right? 